How well do you know your chords? When you play the piano, chords help you create harmony. Hi, my name is Gerald Simon. I'm the founder of Music Motivation, and I created EssentialPianoLessons.com to help teach music lessons the fun way, Essential Piano Exercises to help teach piano students what I consider to be essential piano exercises that every piano student should know how to play. Now, today I'd like to show you a basic outline or overview of all of the most common chords that you will find. We're just going to start with the key of C, and then you can try this at home in other key signatures. In my book, Essential Piano Exercises, we cover those chords in every key, in every inversion. But for now, what I'd like to do is just show you the most common chords. This is found on page 230 from my book, Essential Piano Exercises Every Piano Player Should Know. So let's practice these and learn how to play the most common chords on the piano. So on page 230, we have the most common chords, and we go through every key signature following the circle of fifths, where we play C major, C minor, C diminished, C augmented, C sus4, C sus2, C6, C minor6, C major 7, C minor major 7th, C 7th, C minor 7, C minor 7 flat 5, C minor 7 sharp 5, C diminished 7th, and then G major. Now we're in the new key signature, and we can do the same thing in the key of G. G major, G minor, G diminished, G augmented. G sus4, G sus2, G6, G minor 6. We can go through every key playing all of these chords, and it's wonderful to learn, and in the book I have every chord written out. But what do you do with it? How can I take these most common chords and do something with them? That is what I'd like to have you learn today. I'm just going to show you a brief tutorial about how you can learn these triads. Now this is C major. We have primer unison first, the perfect fifth interval, one, two, three, four, five, and then we have the major third. So a perfect fifth interval combined with the major third creates the major triad, C major. To make it minor, I'm going to play a minor third interval, C minor. C diminished is where we have a diminished fifth interval with a minor third. This is a C diminished triad. C, E flat, G flat. C sus4, think of a suspension. It creates suspense. C, F, G, we're going to let go of the third interval and hold down the fourth. C sus4. C sus2, we're going to take our C major triad, let go of the third, and play or suspend the second. C6, we have C, E, G, A. Because it's a C major triad, and we've added the sixth interval, so it's a C sixth chord. C minor sixth is where you have a C minor triad, C, E flat, G, and you add the sixth interval on top. C major 7th is where you have a C major triad, and we add the major 7th interval up on top. Now we have C, E, G, B. C minor major 7th is where you have a C minor triad, 
with the major 7th interval up on top. C7 is where you have a C major triad with a minor 7th interval up on top. C, E, G, B flat. C minor 7 is where you have the E flat with the B flat up on top. That's a C minor 7th chord. C minor 7 flat 5 means we're going to take the 5th interval, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and go down half a step. We're flatting the 5th. C minor 7, C, E flat, G, B flat, flat 5, take that 5th interval down half a step. C minor 7 sharp 5, we're going to take the C minor 7th chord, and we're going to sharp that 5th interval. That's a C minor 7 sharp 5 chord. C diminished 7th is where we have a diminished triad, C, E flat, G flat, and then we play a diminished 7th interval. This is my major 7th, this is my minor 7th, and then my diminished 7th would be a B double flat. See that? So then I have C, E flat, G flat, and B double flat creates the C diminished seventh chord. And then, of course, we move on to the new key. And we can do that in every key signature, following the circle of fifths. But what can you do with that? That is the question. What can you do to start to use these chords and create music and arrange and improvise and play around? That is what we go over in our weekly group online piano lessons, EssentialPianoLessons.com, where we talk about this, and we teach you how to do that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few of these chords and show you what you can do to have fun and play around. Let's try this. Let's say I took a C minor triad, C, E flat, G, and I just played blocked with the left hand, And I broke the chord apart with the right hand and played C, E flat, G. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm breaking the chord apart. What if I wanted to have a C sus4 chord? And then I resolve it back to the C major triad. But with my left hand, for fun, I'm going to do an F octave interval. And then I'll go back to the C. Now watch, I'm going to play C sus2, and then C major, and then C sus4. But my left hand is just going to stay playing an octave C interval. C to C. I could go up to F with the left hand. What if I went to A with the left hand? What if I went to G with the left hand? playing is C sus2, C major, and then C sus4. That's it. It's a fun, simple way to take the chords and start to play around and improvise. What if I took a C6 chord, C E G A, and I played different inversions. Now, this is called root position, C E G A. If I put the C up on top and played the same notes, instead of C-E-G-A, I would play E-G-A-C. 
Instead of this, I could go to, this is first inversion. If I put the E on top, that would be second inversion. If I put the G on top, that would be third inversion. Same chord. C6, root position. First inversion. Second inversion. Third inversion. That's it. With the left hand, what if I took a C6 chord and I broke it apart? Watch, this is all I'm doing. Now, I could take the right hand and start to play the inversions. What if instead I added a minor 7th interval with the left hand? This is a simple walking bass left hand pattern. Again, I'm not doing something difficult at all. It's very easy. In fact, it's so simple that when people hear you play this, they think that you must be some master and you've been playing for years and years. When in reality, when you start to understand the chords, how to create the chords, how to play the chords, everything opens up and you actually see music differently because all of a sudden you realize that what is written on the page. They're not just dots on a page. It's music. You're playing scales. You're playing chords. So you can learn more about my book, Essential Piano Exercises, from my website, EssentialPianoExercises.com. And it's actually a four-book series where we have Essential New Age Piano Exercises, Essential Piano Exercises, Essential Jazz Piano Exercises, and 100 Left-Hand Patterns that Every Piano Player Should Know. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. You can learn more about my weekly group online piano lessons at EssentialPianoLessons.com. If you are a piano teacher, you can learn about my weekly group online piano lessons for piano teachers at EssentialPianoTeachers.com. Thanks again for watching this YouTube video. I'd love to have you like it. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is YouTube.com slash Gerald Simon. J-E-R-A-L-D-S-I-M-O-N. But thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Have fun. Learn music the fun way. I refer to it as piano fundamentals. Emphasis on the word fun. Thanks so much. Have a great day. See you. Bye.